Recently, I had one of those big birthdays that end in a zero. In my case, there's an eight in front of that zero. You know, I'm shocked that I'm still here. My father died at age 60. Mother died at age 62. I thought surely I would have died a long time ago. Have you ever wondered why you're still here, still alive? You know, I'm here physically, but I have to confess, sometimes I wonder where I am mentally. I guess the important thing for me and you to remember is simply this. God knows why we are here. King Duncan has a story about a grandfather and his granddaughter. They were members of an evangelical Lutheran church in Buffalo, New York. They were enjoying cider and donuts on Reformation Day. And the grandfather said to his granddaughter, Sarah, if you didn't have school tomorrow, you go to church with me and Grandma. It's All Saints Day. Grandpa, Sarah said, we're not saints, we're Lutherans. I'm not going to speculate on how many Lutherans or saints or how many Methodists or saints or Presbyterians or Baptists. All Saints Day is described as a day to celebrate the lives of all people who have served Jesus Christ on earth and now praise Jesus Christ before the eternal throne of our God. By that definition, we're all moving toward sainthood. Whatever our age, young or older, we're moving toward sainthood. An anonymous author has said, watch your thoughts, they become words. Watch your words, they become actions. Watch your actions, they become habits. Watch your habits, they become character. Watch your character, that becomes your destiny. Whatever our age, we're to work towards sainthood. Continue to pray to serve our God as best we can and practicing good habits. Believing in Jesus Christ and accepting his gift of forgiveness and the promise of life everlasting is certainly a good habit. You and I are here to live for God. So happy aging.